Welcome to Boxing Unwrapped. I'm your host AC, and I'm back with another one here. So tonight we're gonna have Devin Haney versus Gamboa, Yuriorkis Gamboa. Now, I wasn't gonna make a video on this fight until after, but I think that it's it's important to understand. Some people are saying, well, Gamboa shot. Well, Gamboa is older, but shot, I don't know. He got hurt in the uh, Tank Davis fight and he still went deep. And he was connecting on, on Tank. And remember, Gamboa has only lost two elite fighters, right? So he has, it's not like Glass Joe from the NES days is uh, piecing up Gamboa. Um, Gamboa's, uh, I think his downfalls are his inactivity and just lack of concentration. He's probably since Zab Judah the most, uh, underachiever, even though <laughs> Zab Judah has won multiple world titles and that goes without saying, I think he could accomplish more. I think something about focus with Gamboa, but if Gamboa comes in focus and I'm telling you right now. It might be a long night for Devin Haney. Uh, I expect Haney to win. But here's the problem. Devin Haney has to do it in the best fashion than any other person prior to. Because he's put himself in that kind of position. Devin Haney has been talking about, you know, Tank had two black eyes, you know, after the fight. Like, you know, just insinuating that a hampered Gamboa still was able to do a lot of damage. Well, guess what, Haney? You, he, you're gonna have to knock him out in sensational fashion. Anything less than an utter dominating... It will have to be like when Mayweather fought Gotti, and it was just such a mismatch that they had to stop it. It was never close, not even a little bit. And embarrassing. If you don't do a one-punch knockout, it will have to be that kind of a situation. And then we could start saying, well, Haney might, you know, looks like he's getting closer to being the truth. If Gamboa pulls it out, I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised because Gamboa has power, speed, and he has experience. And if he's focused, and if he wants this to try to get back in that mix one last time, it can make it for a lot of interesting things to happen. Maybe even an upset. So what I'm saying is, if you got some change left over, maybe put it on Gamboa. Might not be such a bad idea. Depending on how Haney, and listen, I know Styles make fights, but if depending on what happens tonight, even if Haney wins and the way he wins and how he looks will determine how he will do against other people now I'm gonna wait for uh, Ryan Garcia versus Luke Campbell to see how that turns out that's also a great test for Ryan Garcia and if he can eradicate Luke Campbell then I think we got something here we might have something akin to the 90s when we had such a crazy amount of young fighters coming up ready to go so We'll see. Then when we, we, if Haney, like I said, today just obliterates Gamboa, Gamboa will be done. I, I would assume after that. And then we will say, okay, now Ryan, you're up. If Ryan does the same to Luke Campbell, we have, we have, we have a situation here on our hands. But again, if you got some money left over, that's not going to hurt you to lose it. I would, I would put it on Gamboa for the upset. But I fully expect Haney to win. And I think he'll win unanimously, but I don't think it's going to be something that's going to be uh, star-studded. I could be wrong. I don't think it's something that's going to be like star quality, like, you know, just decimation. So anyway, that's my prediction. Haney decision unanimously. Leave your comments below. Subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one.